This is always the hardest part, the waiting. If they're concentrating on Edwards, they may skip Hopkins tonight. On the other hand, they know we were tailing him, so they may try to knock him off. And if they phone him? We may learn something. Or they may just be having him stand still as a target. What do you call that thing? That's an infra-electronic viewer. Look over there. In 30 seconds, those spots we snapped on, you'll see no light except through the viewer. It's about time. Look, Reynolds has snapped on Hopkins' lights. I still don't get it. This is the same principle as the snooper scope used on Jap snipers, sometimes called a sniper scope. Keeps a completely dark area spotlighted at night with nobody the wiser. Watch in here. Everything looks okay over there. We'll light up the second area. Are you on the phone, McCullough? All set, sir. Now for light number three, and we'll have all possible areas covered. What's that? On the building over there. I thought I saw something move. Uh-huh. Let this be a lesson to you. Never buy a suit without a bulletproof vest. Your target for tonight, Burton. And be sure your sniper scope is on. Got him all right? Right in the crosshairs. Our friend up there doesn't know it, but he's just as visible through Burton's sniper scope as he is on this viewer. You don't miss any best, do you, Buttercup? Hello, Hopkins speaking. They've called Hopkins' number. Now we are cozy threesome. He's gonna fire. Break in, hurry. Reynolds, stop. Get over there, quick. Looks like the Jade Club is gonna need a new bartender. Couldn't get a thing on them, sir. They're way ahead of us. Tomorrow it'll be neck and neck. Let's get back to the laundry. We've got things to do. 